You can't fight guns with tasers. You can't fight guns with chemical spray. Unfortunately, you have to fight guns with guns. And that's what investigators say a Flint police officer did this past Saturday. It was all caught on camera. State police say Brianna Sykes drove up to a police officer during the Juneteenth parade and fired a shot at him. The officer returned fire, hitting Sykes. Sykes later died at a hospital. And while the investigation continues, we are looking into use of force policies in law enforcement. In Michigan Now's Remy Murray gives us some perspective after talking with the officer training director at Mock Community College. Dave, right now I'm standing on Saginaw Street where Saturday's Flint officer involved shooting took place, leaving one woman dead. While the police tape and cars are all gone, there's a big question tonight about use of force and when it's applied. According to Lieutenant David Livingston, who works with public safety at my community college, the officer did a good job in his response to the situation on Saturday. Revisiting the video that's showing on your screen, Livingston says the officer correctly followed each protocol they teach when training officers on the job like de-escalating the situation by asking the woman to drop her gun and even getting an angle, which the academy calls slicing the pie to find out what's going on after he heard the shot and before firing his gun. Aside from his job in public safety, Livingston also works as a teacher at the Law Enforcement Regional Training Academy in Finn Township. He tells me use of force like this event is allowed in several instances, including when there's a threat to someone's life, like Livingston says happened with the Flint police officer at Saturday shooting. Whenever there's any kind of a pushback, use of force is allowed, okay? But only to that extent where you can provide uh, it's safe for the officer and safe for the, for the individual. Tonight at 10 and 11, we'll talk a little bit more about what training measures the academy has to prepare officers for these circumstances. In Flint, Remy Murray, Mid-Michigan Now.